Can I take this away from you? <laughs> no. I, I'm kind of liking it. You are, but it's in the shot. Oh, okay. How low is the shot going? It's just like a, you know, okay, okay. like here. No, I yeah, I, I need like something to hold. That's okay. I can. I, I'll 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 just. You have like a. I'll wave. <laughs> cool. That's great. Hi, I'm Nova Spivak. I am the uh, CEO and founder of Radar Networks. We make a website called Twine. Uh, Twine is one of the first websites based on the semantic web. So how is the semantic web different from keyword search or using Google? Basically, um, keyword search is looking for a match to the keywords that you entered. So if you entered, um, you know, Jaguar Africa, you'd get cars in Africa and animals in Africa that are called Jaguars. But you really want, you know, specifically the animal. So Google doesn't really understand that. It just makes a match, a precise match from the words to, to documents that contain those words. The semantic web understands the meaning of, of words and understands the meaning of the content. And so it makes, a, it makes a better match. It actually knows what you're asking for and finds what you really want. Twine is, is at the moment in perpetual beta, which is actually good. Um, and I've resisted trying to define it too much or decide exactly where it's going to end up I, I really want the community to tell us, and I think about it as community-generated software, it's, or community-driven software. We have kind of user-generated user content. This is user-generated software. So we started with a premise and a sort of rough sketch of here's, here are the raw materials. And now that this, we have this passionate, you know, 30,000 passionate people telling us this is what we want, this is where we want you to take Twine. And we're really listening and, and engaging in a dialogue. And then based on what we're learning from, from the people who are using Twine, we're deciding where to take Twine. And so, um, you know, even though there's certainly from my investors and, and lots of people, there's a lot of pressure sometimes to sort of say, here's where we're going to be in three years. I actually think the, the wisdom, um, you know, of living in the moment and, you know, being in perpetual beta um, and letting it emerge is, is much more profound and important. And so, you know, what we're finding is the community is taking Twine where they want it to go. And ultimately, that means it's going to be much more delightful and satisfying to the people that are going to use it. The web sort of changes everything. It, it changes the way that we interact with each other. It changes who we are as individuals because we're no longer as separate from each other. It changes the whole notion of where we live because you know, we actually live in this group mind that's distributed. We don't just live, you know, in one physical location, but we're part of a community that's all over the world. So I think it's, it's really changing what an individual is and how we think and interact. And, and the effect of that is, yes, things happen faster. We are part of bigger movements and trends. And it's, it's also much more chaotic in a certain way. Um, it's a more networked kind of world instead of a hierarchical world. Decisions are made laterally instead of top down or sometimes they're just bottom up they just emerge they just bubble up and suddenly everybody notices you know this is what we're doing so it's really changing the way that that things happen and and i find in my own organization and and also other companies um you know it's you can't plan too far in advance it's much more about i think structuring your company or your life um so that you're very adaptive I think that that becomes more important than you know thinking many steps ahead in the game because the game has so many moves, so many pieces on the board, so much change that you really can't predict what's going to happen. It's much more important, I think, to, to be very aware of the present, to really understand what's going on now, and, and just be extremely adaptive. Have an idea of where you want to go, but be willing to change it have a different idea if the world changes because it seems to change every couple of days.